I just got asked a question that I get asked all the time, and so I'm gonna put it to rest right here, right now. And the question is this, how do you get hired to do work that you've never been paid to do before if it's experience that people are looking for? You can have it. World famous photographer, Chase Jarvis. This, this is an age-old question. You want to start something new, and it doesn't matter if it's photography or design or um, starting a company or get funding and you have no experience. How do you get hired to shoot that job the first time if you've never shot automotive or fashion or whatever? First and foremost, like, be around the stuff that you want to do. What's the easiest way for you to be around it? To volunteer, to be an intern, to show up at meetups. I, I've talked about this before. This is a no-brainer. You have to actually start spending time around the stuff. You can't go from zero to 100 miles an hour. You can't go from zero to one, let alone zero to 100 miles an hour, by being completely removed from the community. It just, it just doesn't happen. Whether it's sweeping the floors or volunteering, or you just have to put yourself in a position to win. Put yourself in a position to be a part of the conversation. Put yourself in a position to learn. You have to actually put your own time in to create proof points. So proof points, they, they can be any myriad of things. Let's use the photography example. Proof points are you fund your own portfolio of fashion photography. If you've had success in something else, say you've, you had success in automotive and you want to move to fashion, Sure, it, help, it helps to have those experiences relating with clients and billing and all that stuff so you look and feel professional and then, but use that money or the time that you have when you're not creating that work that you're getting paid for to make stuff that is in the direction that you want to go, i.e. make a proof point. Shoot, use your own money, your own time, um, your own resources to create a portfolio. Here's what a proof point looks like in the world of entrepreneurship. Build a product, have a prototype, get 10,000 people using it and show crazy engagement. If the idea that you have costs so much money that you can't create proof points, then don't do that idea. That's a, like, it's a bad way to start, especially as a first timer. There are a couple things you can do wrong. One thing you can do wrong is expect that the world is gonna see through um, is just gonna see your greatness despite the fact that you haven't done thing X or Y before. Bullshit. If someone's gonna hire you on a high paying photo shoot, for example, imagine like they're gonna get fired if this doesn't go well. So you have to be able to show these proof points and arrogance of not being willing to put in the work and build a new portfolio in a different area of photography, that's, you're just never gonna get there on the expectation that someone should make a bet on you without you actually proving yourself. And I'm saying it's a bad idea too because what if you, what if you suck? You need to go out and find that there's a passion and that you need to demonstrate that that passion um, translates into real good stuff and those are proof points and that's the stuff that you take to the people who actually pay people to do that work. Um, so that's one thing you can do wrong is be so arrogant that you're not willing to do the working because then you'll never make a transition and do another thing. The other thing is you can do wrong is to do nothing. If you just sit around and wait to get hired for work you've never shot or work you've never put out into the world that you want to do this, how in the hell is anyone going to find you? They just, they're just they not going to know that you care. It's like some um, venture capital firm is not going to parachute in and give you $5 million just to chase your idea. You have to be a part of that community. You can't just expect that something's going to happen from nothing. So um, those are two things that I think I, I, people, I see people make those mistakes. They expect more than they should and then they think that if they do nothing that somehow their dreams are going to happen. Just a couple of very simple facts. One is you have to be present and two, you have to do the work. Oh, that's it for today. You can have it.